Hey everyone, Brendan Snyder here. Thanks so much for joining me. So as you can see, I'm sitting in my car, which means we are gonna head out to a record store. Now this isn't a typical kind of record store. This is actually a record show. Here in New Jersey, in Wayne, New Jersey, it is called the Second Saturday Record Show. So it happens every month on the second Saturday. That's where it gets its name. So not kind of as exclusive as the ones that are every six months or once a year, that kind of a thing. But different type of place to go check out records and CDs and stuff like that. I hear that it verges uh, more closely to being a, you know an all vinyl kind of a thing, maybe not many CDs, but we're gonna go check it out anyways. I think we'll have a good time on it. And if nothing else, it'll just be a fun experience because hey, what is better than going out and hunting for music? So uh, join me, come along, and let's go to the record show. Hey everyone, so we made it. We are outside the Police Athletic League. That's where the second Saturday record show takes place every month. And uh, here this thing's pretty great. So let's head inside and see what we can find. Finest records of all time. All right, Anthony, what did you find? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it's not not even the stuff that uh, you got more in the car, but you found some great stuff here. Well, we got Soundgarden's A size. Yep. I don't need any more Soundgarden, but just to complete it because it's the the record store day version with the color vinyl. You know. Yep. Bullshit. I'm doing it. Original Bush. Original Nine Inch Nails, this is perfect. Mine is not perfect, but it plays almost perfect. And just because I regret it selling the other one that I had. There you go. I know, I know. We have Yeah. Uh, Mike? 
We're down there. We organized it. It's, it I, organ I went through and did alphabets. All right, Joe, so tell me what you found so far. So far, I found this really great Charles Lloyd album. Okay. With Dave Mason, uh, Jesse Davis, Mike Luck, Brian Wilson, and Carl Wilson. Looking forward to it. All right. What's the other one there? Santana. Not familiar with this one, but mm -hmm. it looked cool. Okay. Hey, that's all that matters. It looked cool. All right. Let's see what else we can find. Got the Soundgarden A side. It was a record store day exclusive a couple years ago. It is colored, and that's pretty much why I bought it. I don't need anything on here. I have it all in some way, shape, or form. But now I have it in this shape and form. You didn't need it, but you needed it. I needed it. I needed it. Uh, what's this one? Oh, an original copy of Bush's 16 Stone. I needed it. That's it. Period. Oh, this is the Vinyl Me Please exclusive of the Fuji's The Score. It's black and gold, and it comes with the 7-inch. I just, I don't know. They say it's the definitive version. It sounds the best. I'm going to find out in a little while. I love King Curtis, and I love the Shirelles. Enough said. I do have a great copy of this at home, but this copy is so much better than the copy that I have at home. And in there is a Blondie... Uh, a Denis seven inch from Japan that my friend Brad gave me. So that's cool. It's another one I have at home, but this is mint. So it's gonna be a, a replacement copy, an upgrade. I don't have this. This is an intact lighter cover of Bob Marley and the Whalers, Catch a Fire. It works, it operates, and the record is mint. So it's super cool to have this. I've been searching for it for a while. I recently sold this and I kicked myself and hated myself for selling it. So I bought it again. And that's it. All right, so I had a really good day at the record store, a record show, I should say. This was uh, much better than I anticipated it being. Big find for me, Talis. What is it called? Uh, sink your teeth into that. Billy Sheehan from Mr. Big in here. I've been looking for this one for a long time. Very good score for me. Now you guys saw this one where I was flipping through it here. Pros and cons of Hitchhiking, Roger Waters, original album cover of it. But I didn't buy it just for that. I got a tour book with it. That's cool. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so that and the record together. Good deal on that. Detroit with Mitch Ryder, 1971 album here. 
Don't know much about it, but uh, heard a couple tracks, really dug it, so I'm going to check that out. Here's another one that was a big find for me, Brownsville Station. Uh, these are very hard to come by, uh, sealed, in fact. So got that. I was looking for the 1977 uh, self-titled album, but I'm going to go with that one. And then we got Demon. And this is a band I just recently found out, actually from the album, compilation album that you gave me, Anthony, called Metal Rock. And they were on it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember and that it turned out this band is awesome. New wave of British heavy metal band called Demon. Don't know much about them, but they're good. And that's my score.